Good game, eh? a really good game. Um, <coughs> one of the best derbies we played for sure so far. Uh, very dominant in most periods of the game. Didn't like too much the first in the first half, the last five or seven minutes. Not one hundred percent sure, but nothing happened really. Just we were not as dominant as before. Um, and obviously the last ten, fifteen, maybe um, of the game. Um, I'm okay, exception. The the last second. Um, because then um, just it's clear when you, we played outstandingly well, we, we dominated the opponent. We played exactly in the in the spaces we had to. When we saw the lineup, it was pretty clear what um, what they want to do, and um, the boys used the spaces really well. So dropping eight, six, being there, high fullback stuff like that, um, being flexible. And creating a lot of a lot of chances, scored from a set piece only, but had other situations obviously. Um, and then the start in the second half was absolutely brutal. Wow, it was really we jumped in them and, and um, had I don't know three four chances um, at least and didn't score. And then it's how it always is and how it often enough wa was now in that season. The opponent has the chance to go come back. That's what happened. Um, we had to defend then the organization was okay but it's just about timing then when do you have the challenges where do you have the challenges so we were a bit late in these moments that's why they came through that's why they could at least finish their situations off but we defended them with a lot of passion a little big heart and stuff like this um, carried as well by the atmosphere which was great um, and then last situation in the game Mo Salah Alison Becker, what an assist, and then Mo Salah, what a goal. Um, it was a, sp a sprint duel of two really quick boys, and Mo used his massive experience. So, yeah, big relief in that moment, and um, good. Hey. Is, there, is there any sense of um, frustration or disappointment because you were so dominant and you should have won by so many, so much more, and yet it did, did go right at the end? Though. Not really. It's how I said always. We, we don't take these things for granted. So it's like we take what we get. We, we score with this situation. Or we don't score. So um, you can, even if you miss a chance, you can take a lot of positive from, from it because it's just you, you know how um, how we did it. For example, the, at the end it doesn't look like a chance, but we know that Sadio scored in a similar situation um, against Chelsea in the European Super Cup. So when the, when 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 he plays the pass to Bobby, and Bobby plays his cutback, that's from the training ground. That's exceptional. So it was a bit, and he doesn't hit the ball clear. So it's not even a corner or whatever. But these situations are just um, outstanding. So I'm not frustrated, but I would prefer as well that we score more often, of course, because it's good for the nerves. But um, at the end, it was the most important thing is because we really believe in the fact that the result is a result of the performance. And so if you look at the performance over 90 minutes or 95 or 98, we are the clear deserved winner and that's um, all what we want to be. And um, so, all good. Thanks. Um, Jürgen, I was just going to say, did you feel sort of united mm -hmm. were the air? Corners, set pieces in an area you could exploit and conceded far more from corners in the league this year. <coughs> Look, what we do is analyze. And um, our um, and when what we see, we try to use. But of course, the opponent um, can change things. So, is there any space where you can exploit or not? What you can exploit or not? Um, sometimes it's there, sometimes not. But the most important thing is that. Uh, we have routines for always different routines for the next game. Um, that's all up to Pete Kravitz and our analyze uh, and the analyze boys. Um, they they put a lot of effort in that. And this time it was yes, we wanted to be in the in the in the in that first post area with with Verge. But if you watch it back, um, Hendo would have been free as well in the in the second post area. He was not involved because we scored in the first post area, <laughs> but Hendo was completely free because he was sixth man. So things like this you train, and sometimes it works out and sometimes not. But it was not that M Manchester is doing 
exceptionally bad. Oh, but in set pieces, they have the people in the right place. Everybody tries to get a little advantage in these moments against us, so we have to try it as well, and that's what we do. Okay. Uh, Jürgen, the, um, the home record is extraordinary over the last three years. And you spoke in the program about it's um, about the atmosphere and the importance of that. And that hasn't happened overnight. Could you just explain how that has changed and improved over time? With the Not really. I didn't think for a long time about it, but I don't take it for granted as well. So I think in a moment it's like this that everybody who, I think even in the living rooms in front of the television, if we could get this energy as well, that would help because it's, I think, a lot of passion around um, the world um, based on the Liverpool, um, on based on Liverpool Football Club. So, um, no, it was, a, it was obviously, a, yeah, we had to develop it, it's clear. So, and the, and the people, um, how I said, I think I said it, I'm not sure if I said it here or in, a, or in another interview, that they carried us through the difficult period. So that's how it is. So it's, um, it's exceptional, absolutely exceptional, the atmosphere. Everybody knows that, but it's not, um, ju it doesn't just happen. Everybody has to be on their toes to, to, to create an atmosphere like this. The boys try everything to do it on the pitch, but uh, if the crowd is not, not there, then it's completely different. So I really love that, that um, relationship um, between um, the atmosphere on the, on the, on the in the stands and um, the atmosphere on the pitch, so that's a massive help. And, um, but, as like I said, if you wouldn't play well, the atmosphere would be not like this. If the atmosphere would be not like it is, we wouldn't play that well, easy. Any final words? Yes. Speaking of atmosphere, it's the first time that the fans are saying we're going to win the league. Have you got a message for them with that? Yeah, yeah, they can sing whatever they want, apart from my name before the before the game is finished. Um, yeah, we're not here to to dictate what they what they have to sing. So if our fans would not be in a good mood now, that would be really strange. The only thing what I what I can tell you is that we are um, um, here to work. As easy as that. So and really, of course, the questions were all. It's like. On a very, it's a very positive um, atmosphere, even in the interviews after the game. But I have to keep myself really in the interview, try to stay concentrated in interviews because I, th I know already we play on Thursday against Wolves, so that's the truth. So, and I'm really only, to be honest, I'm no only interested in that game and nothing else. So, but again, your question was different. So, um, of course, they are allowed to dream, to sing, whatever they want, as long as they do their job as well in a moment when we play. All fine. We will not be part of that party yet, and um, but it's no problem. We know our job.